Ryan Little. <laughs> Ryan Little. <laughs> you really know how to make me cry when you give me those ocean eyes. Those ocean eyes. I'm scared. Yeah, yeah. So, a lot of you saw that video, but watch this. Literally a few nights ago, I was hooking up with the hottest guy from TikTok, actually, and... What's his at on TikTok? I'm not going to tell you. Fuck it. Oh, no, I'm, I'm just trying to it. It was like two strikes It was right great, Damn. and I was like, um, he was like a like DL guy or whatever, and I was like sucking his dick or whatever, What's the and then What's the down low. Like, oh, oh, into oh. guys, but like on the DL. Okay. Ryan Little. Yeah. <laughs> Didn't James Charles talk about how queer baiting is so not okay and how it's harmful to the LGBTQ plus community? Like, James, I love you, but please stop hanging out with problematic people just because you want more clout. So a lot of you have seen my last video and obviously it was a big coincidence and we now know it's not true, but it does point to a bigger issue, which is queer baiting. For those of you that don't know what queer baiting is, here's the definition. So now I'm going to show you guys some examples. Here's one. This was a bit they did in one of Bryce Hall's last videos. And they make these videos on TikTok all the time. My last video did receive a lot of attention, and I thought I'd use this attention to address a problem that a lot of creators are adding to, so thank you.